Yo, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gary from Just on the Fan TV, man. I'm back at you another video. At the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. At the content of this channel, go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so obviously, we're going to do the Ravens training camp video today. Uh, but before that, the Ravens did break some news and they signed the defensive lineman, not to Davion Clowney, at least not yet. They signed Project Washington to an extension, all right? From Aaron Wilson and Jefferson Reback, they reported on it. The deal is a three-year deal, uh, $17.5 million, $6.3 million in a signing bonus, with options going up to $10 million guaranteed. And then Jefferson Reback also has that 750 k in incentives in the deal, and the max value of the contract was four years, then you get to that $17.5 million range. All right, so first off, do I like the deal? Yes. Uh, I think Project Washington is a guy that's gotten better every year. I think that the more he's played, the better he's gotten. Uh, he's a guy that, honestly, I thought was, before last season, was kind of like an afterthought, you know? Like, he was a good player. He was playing well, but it didn't sound like he was really going to get the opportunity. Last year, he got the opportunity. He played really well, and he shined and showed that he's worth a contract extension, all right? Um, the Ravens have a lot of decisions to make when it comes to contract extensions. You know, um, Justin Madden, BK right next to him, uh, Patrick Queen, J.K. Dobbins. But Roger Washington was probably the most simple and straightforward deal to get done. It wasn't going to be a too big of a, of a big money contract. And something that both sides could probably easily get done, you know what I mean? So I think it's a good deal for Roger Washington. I think it's a good deal for the Ravens. They lock up uh, one, one half of their very young interior defensive line. Project Washington is only 26 years old, so he still has many years left in the tank. Uh, he's only going into year four right now, so this is a very good uh, this is a very good deal. Um, him and Matt Abike are probably the two names on that front line, that interior defensive line that you think of now that Calais Campbell has left the team. Uh, Project Washington is a big part of what the Ravens have going on in the future, and he fully deserves his contract. Let's talk about some of his numbers last year real quick. 2022 started 17 sorry, played 17 games, started in nine games. 49 tackles, 25 solo tackles, two tackles for loss, four QB hits. And we're talking about all from the interior right here. And what makes it even more impressive for Project Washington is I believe he only played 44% uh, of the snaps last year on defense. Yeah, got it right here. He only played 44% of the snaps last year. So he was causing havoc. He was causing damage and not even playing under half of the team's snaps, right? Now, I was just due to with the kind of position and the kind of um, – defensive tackle that he is but still saying that he caused a lot of damage playing 44 percent of the snaps so Roger washington his snap count has gone up every year from 30 percent to 32 percent to last year at 44 percent i expect his snap count to continue to rise um we mentioned justin matter bk him and justin matter bk then obviously you got a michael pierce in there as well you know not, not forget michael pierce but mainly washington and matter bk are the future of what the ravens have going on in interior defensive line Right, like I said, uh, Roger Watts is only 26 years old. You still reckon that he's going to get better from this point on, and um, he's been a player that's just been ascending. So you want to keep those kind of guys around. I looked up his PFF grade. I always say PFF grades ain't the end all, ain't the end all be all, but it is something that's a nice measure just to see. Um, and he had about a 70 PFF grade, which is pretty good, pretty solid grade. And uh, that's the kind of player he is. He's a solid player. He's a good player. You know that every single week. Roger Washington is going to give his best, and he doesn't really have uh, bad games in the middle of in the middle of the field right there. So, um, I'm happy with the deal. I think it's important that the Ravens get these kind of deals done. Uh, listen, it's always great to go out and sign free agents if you can, if you can afford it. But when you have your own talent in house, guys that are good players, guys that deserve the contract, that deserves the deal, get those guys locked up, man. You know what I mean? If you, if you can. Um, so, you know, we've seen it with Lamar Jackson. We've seen it with, you know, I mean, Roquan got hit middle of the season. But anyway, when you have players that you've drafted, developed, you want to pay those guys, right? It sets a good message for the future. And also, it's just like they know your system. They know your team. They're comfortable in the environment. It's not a new guy that you're bringing in from somewhere else. And he might not fit with the culture. He might not like how things is done here. Roger Watson has been here three years. He knows how the Ravens organizations run. He's comfortable with his team comfortable with the defense second year in this defense so um it makes sense all around and um, yeah, let me ignore that sorry about that uh makes sense all around and i'm happy that roger washington got paid so uh, i'm not gonna take too long on this video man but yeah just wanted to get out there that roger washington did sign a new year a new three-year deal with the baltimore ravens 
around seventeen and a half million dollars, and uh, it's a good deal for all sides involved, man. And I'm excited to see what Project Washington does next season uh, because he's is, he is one of the Ravens players on the defensive line that can cause havoc and that can cause damage to an opposing team's offense. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here, man. Like I said, we're gonna be definitely dropping a training camp video later. Uh, we're also in that training camp video, we'll talk about the fact that the Ravens dropped their first um, depth chart of the season. I'll give my thoughts on that depth chart uh, quickly before we you know you do the training camp thing, man. So I'm gonna get out of here, man. It's Gabriel. It's another fan TV. I'm out.